Hi everyone, it's Emily with Joyful Junk Journals and I am back today with another Harry Potter journal. Um, I had so much fun doing the last one that I decided I was just going to do one more while I was at it. So this is another fabric journal. It's um, similar to the other one. It's also six inches by nine inches. Um, it's fabric with interfacing and cardstock, so it's a little heavier than your normal fabric journal, but it still has some, some give and some bend. Um, it's got all different Harry Potter fabrics sewn along the side. And then there's a bead tassel. So this one, I just did beads because I wanted to show off the charms. So there's a snitch, there's a spell book, a deer, an ink um, bottle, a little hat, and a cauldron. So I just wanted to show all those off because they're so fun. Um, so it's a ribbon closure, and it just goes around the button like that and opens up. And let's open it. It's only 45 pages, but each page is chocked full of stuff. I could not make it any bigger. <laughs> Otherwise, it was too big for the two-inch spine. So, um, 45 very full pages in here. Um, and you can see I did some stitching on the insides of the cover. But for the first page, we've got some Harry Potter paper and a little collage tag or stripey tag with different papers and a tag here with a cauldron and then behind that we've got a pocket tag and inside here we've got Harry and just a tag and then here we've got a little um, potion label and a little I'd gotten these, they came with the die cuts of Harry. They're, they're like actual die cuts of um, the characters and it came with these as well. And I, they're just, just fun, <laughs> just fun little Harry Potter things. So we'll see several of those throughout. Okay, moving on. Here we have some wand paper. I thought it was so fun, the different magic wands. And then a card that I collaged be journaled on. Some space there to journal with. Some beautiful glitter paper. And there's a journal card with a fabric flip of Ron to write on. And this was from a Harry Potter journal, like an actual journaling journal that I purchased and took apart and coffee dyed. So there's several pages of that in here and I love the way it turned out. This is some handmade paper, so it's got some nice texture to it. And then a little pocket with some game cards in there from a couple of different Harry Potter card games. And of course it's made with paper from the book. Um, all the book pages are from the book. And there's a little definition of a flobber worm. <laughs> And a coffee dyed notepad I had, things I need from uh, Hogsmeade. Some more journal paper, and then a picture of Harry with Grip Hook. And then some beautiful Harry Potter fabric that I've sewn on along throughout several of the pages. So this is the Ravenclaw one. And then here, this is, there's Hogwarts, the castle, and then that actually Flips open. There's Harry getting on the night bus and a tag inside. And that's on the back of the handmade paper. There's more of the journal paper, some coffee dyed paper, the glitter paper, and then just a little card. And this is from a Harry Potter clue game that I coffee dyed. And you can write on the back. There's that. Some space to write on. Some beautiful star glitter paper. I love to touch it. I love the feel of glitter paper. And here's the Gryffindor fabric. And then a big pocket that has some collaging on it with Buckbeak. And inside is just a big collage tag. I love that picture of Hagrid 
from the book. I think it's so cool. Absolutely love it. And then it has the big, because of Aragog, I put the spider with Hagrid <laughs> and Buckbeak. <laughs> kind of fun. I tried to put things together that fit Harry Potter-ish. My, my nerdiness came out in this book. <laughs> so here we've got a little envelope or a little coin envelope with a little tag. And there's, oops, there we go. There's Hedwig there behind. And then this opens up. There's some vellum, an owl vellum here. And then this was actual from a Harry Potter stationery set. I don't know if you can see it. Get all the way to the side here. So it flips all the way to the over all, all the way open this way. And so inside of here is a piece of coffee dye paper that I sewed on some Hermione fabric. So that goes in that envelope. And there's good writing space on that as well. And then some more of that wand paper, just a collaged card inside that I've sewn around. Most of the tags in this book I sewed around. Um, I just felt like Harry Potter needed it. <laughs> so there's that flip. And then, whoops. And then here, I've got a pocket. There's um, space here to journal on. And then here's a definition of a phoenix. And then a picture of Fox. And a quote. Um, it takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. So a nice Dumbledore quote. So that's my little phoenix area here. <laughs> I told you I got nerdy. I just had too much fun. Let's see. Oh, that one had to go that way. That's right. Okay. So here we have a really pretty owl printable. Just some Harry Potter paper. Um, uh, this is from the second book. I made a double pocket out of the pages. And inside is just a big collage tag. And then a little tag here. Some stamping on the bottom. Another one of these cards. And then I loved this paper. It's glitter paper and it has a knight on it and it just reminded me of Sir Curdud Sir I can't say his name. Sir Curdudgeon Tur Sir Turgud I can't say his name. But the the crazy little knight in the painting. Um it reminded me of him. So I put that in there. Get some more Harry Potter paper. The other side of that really pretty printable. Um just a Definition with a pretty die cut on the top. And then here's Ron being all sad in his Gryffindor robes. And then inside the pocket here, because he's the keeper on the team. So just a little card that says keeper you can write on. And then that flips up. Um, let me make sure you can see that on the camera. Yeah, okay, so here's the Great Hall. And then here is Ron when he gets the love potion um, and is in love with Romilda. So I have that one there. And then on the side is just an envelope that I put a little tag on. And inside the envelope, just some cards to journal on. A little ticket to uh, the Hogwarts Express. Okay, let me slide that in there go put that down okay and if I didn't mention there's four signatures and this is the start of the third so okay some beautiful um, glitter potion paper that I coffee dyed the back of I don't know if you can tell that it's coffee dyed but it is and then this really pretty kind of astronomy looking paper that's blue for Ravenclaw and then I embroidered the sorting hat and sewed it on the tag. And then here we have some more really pretty, um, was that the right page? Yeah, okay. Some really pretty glitter paper with a quote from Dumbledore. And then here, I don't know if you can tell, but this paper has um, rats crawling along a bookshelf. And so I hid Peter Pettigrew under a little flip out there. 
for him and his rats. <laughs> and some velvet trim here on the side. And then this is kind of my divination page. So there's Ron and Harry looking into the crystal ball and a just a collage tag. And then down here we've got the centaur for the centaur that teaches divination. And then Frenzy. Is it Frenzy? I don't know. Anyways, here we have some ledger paper. Um, this was from another Harry Potter journal that I have that I just put a little piece on here to journal on. Um, Harry in the restricted section. Just a Hufflepuff piece of fabric with a little Deathly Hallows charm there. This was a die cut of Dobby that I cut out and then chalked to make it look like him. Um, in this pocket, oops, sorry, um, we've got a fabric tag and then Draco because he's in Slytherin. Got those. Oops. Here we have an embossed pocket, which has got the lion on it. It's like a London stamp, which I thought was kind of fun. And just a big bookmark inside to write on. And then some more of that really pretty glitter paper. And then this is my Weasley page. <laughs> so this part of the book is actually talking about the Weasleys. There's the thing from Weasley's Wizard Weasley's, their, book, their store. And then I put cards of Beater and Bludger. Because that is their thing on the team. So there's that. And some more of the potion paper. And in this one we have just a little tag. And then our final signature. I've got some of the... Harry Potter Wizard World uh, map back there. And then just a pretty collage tag with some fabric. And then this side, we have another flip out. So here we've got just some space to journal on with a snitch. Um, and then this is a tag. It's got the it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. And then there's the mirror of Erised next to that quote, which I liked. And this is like a velvet paper. It's got a nice feel to it. Here we have some more fabric on the side. Um, a belly band. And I threw in, oops, it was upside down. I threw in Newt Scamander because he's part of the Harry Potter world too. So he gets to be in the book. And that's just a postcard that I coffee dyed. Get that all the way in there. Okay. And then this is actually a pocket. So there's a Quidditch player inside of the Quidditch pitch. Okay. Let me turn the page here. Okay. Then some really pretty, looked like astronomy paper to me, or astrology. I thought it was pretty. And then this one is just a card. Um, big journal card I put on some paper and it's this is a paper clip that you can use anywhere in the book if you want to I just clipped it on here okay we've got some more coffee dye paper little potion label um, more paper here we've got a paper clip peculiar potions <laughs> and then a collage tag that I liked, and it's got Slytherin on the back. That one. And then here, this is one of my favorites. So I used the brick um, paper, and I made a little hideaway. So inside of the brick wall, we've got the Hogwarts Express. <laughs> so there's a train, and then another little card, and then you can tuck it back behind platform nine and three quarters. And then at the very end, we've got Harry and Hedwig saying goodbye. <laughs> and that is the end of my book. I hope you enjoyed this flip through. And if you're interested in this journal or any of our other journals, you can find us on Etsy at Joyful Junk Journals. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.